This Sunday, we celebrate a feast proclaimed by Jesus himself, the Feast of Divine Mercy. As you will see in the revelations that Jesus gave to Sister Faustina, our Lord is a God of mercy. He doesn't want any of his children to be condemned in hell for all eternity. While alive, we have a choice to make. Come to him confessing ourselves as sinners and requesting his mercy, or later face him as a judge. Let now see these revelations given by Jesus. I desire that the first Sunday after Easter be the Feast of Mercy. Ask of my faithful servant that on this day he tell the whole world of my great mercy, that whoever approaches the fount of life on this day will be granted complete remission of sins and punishment. Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. No soul will be justified until it turns with confidence to my mercy. And this is why the first Sunday after Easter is to be the Feast of Mercy. On that day, priests are to tell everyone about my great and unfathomable mercy. I am making you the administrator of my mercy. I desire that the Feast of Mercy be a refuge and shelter for all souls, and especially for poor sinners. On that day the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy. The soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. On that day, all the divine floodgates through which grace flow are opened. Let no soul fear to draw near to me, even though its sins be as scarlet. Write down these words, my daughter. I speak to the world about my mercy. Let all mankind recognize my unfathomable mercy. It is a sign for the end times. After it will come the day of justice. While there is still time, let them have recourse to the fount of my mercy. Let them profit from the blood and water which gushed forth for them. Write this, before I come as a just judge, I am coming first as the King of Mercy. Before the day of justice arrives, there will be given to people a sign in the heavens of this sort. All light in the heavens will be extinguished, and there will be great darkness over the whole earth. Then the sign of the cross will be seen in the sky, and from the openings where the hands and the feet of the Savior were nailed, will come forth great lights, which will light up the earth for a period of time. This will take place shortly before the last day. Let the greatest sinner place their trust in my mercy. They have the right before others to trust in the abyss of my mercy. My daughter, write about my mercy towards tormented souls. Souls that make an appeal to my mercy delight me. To such souls I grant even more graces than they ask. I cannot punish even the greatest sinner if he makes an appeal to my compassion. But on the contrary, I justify him in my unfathomable and inscrutable mercy. Right. Before I come as a just judge, I first open wide the door of my mercy. He who refuses to pass through the door of my mercy must pass through the door of my justice. Jesus looked at me and said, Souls perish in spite of my bitter passion. I am given then the last hope of salvation, that is, the feast of my mercy. If they will not adore my mercy, they will perish for all eternity. Secretary of my mercy, write, Tell souls about this great mercy of mine, because the awful day, the day of my justice, is near. Today I heard the words, in the Old Covenant, I sent prophets wielding thunderbolts to my people. Today I am sending you with my mercy to the people of the whole world. 
I do not want to punish aching mankind, but I desire to heal it, pressing it to my merciful heart. I use punishment when they themselves force me to do so. My hand is reluctant to take hold of the sword of justice. Before the day of justice, I am sending the day of mercy. When once I asked the Lord Jesus how he could tolerate so many sins and crimes and not punish them, the Lord answered me, I have eternity for punishing them, and so I am prolonging the time of mercy for the sake of sinners, but woe to them if they do not recognize this time of my visitation. Then I saw the Mother of God, who said to me, Oh, how pleasing to God! is the soul that follows faithfully the inspirations of His grace. I gave the Savior to the world. As for you, you have to speak to the world about His great mercy and prepare the world for the second coming of Him who will come not as a merciful Savior, but as a just judge. Oh, how terrible is that day! Determine is the day of justice, the day of divine wrath. The angels trembled before it. Speak to souls about this great mercy while well, it is still the time for mercy. Speak to souls about this great mercy while well, it is still the time for mercy. I believe what we are suffering all around the world today with this virus is a chastisement or a warning. It is the beginning of more serious signs from our loving Father to bring his children back to him before the world suffers his wrath. This is Eduardo Alvarez. God bless you.